The Pennsylvania Rally Incident, Analyzing the Shooting of Donald Trump and Its Aftermath The recent incident at a rally in Pennsylvania where former President Donald Trump was shot in the ear has shaken the political landscape and raised numerous questions about safety, political violence, and the reactions from influential figures. The event, which took place on a Saturday, has not only garnered widespread media attention, but also elicited strong responses from various political and public personalities. The rally, held in Butler County, Pennsylvania, was abruptly interrupted when shots were fired, leaving Trump grazed on the ear. The swift action of the Secret Service, who quickly surrounded and escorted Trump off the stage, was commendable. The former president's quick reaction, ducking for cover as nine shots rang out, further highlighted the tension and chaos of the moment. Despite the injury, Trump's resilience was on display as he waved his fist in the air, a gesture that has become synonymous with his defiant persona. Elon Musk's immediate endorsement of Trump following the incident was a significant development. Musk, the billionaire entrepreneur, took to X, formerly Twitter, to express his support, stating, I fully endorse President Trump and hope for his rapid recovery. He added, last time America had a candidate this tough was Theodore Roosevelt, drawing a historical parallel that seems to elevate Trump's image as a resilient and formidable leader. Musk's public endorsement and subsequent donation to a pro-Trump super PAC signal a deeper alignment with Trump's political ideology, a move that could have substantial implications for future political dynamics. The gravity of the situation was underscored by statements from various political figures. Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro condemned the violence, emphasizing that such actions have no place in the state or the country. He extended his prayers to Trump, the Secret Service officers, attendees, and first responders, reflecting a bipartisan consensus against political violence. President Joe Biden also expressed his relief that Trump was safe and condemned the act, calling for national unity in denouncing such violence. The Secret Service's response was swift and decisive. According to reports, the shooter was neutralized by the Secret Service's counter-assault team, ensuring no further harm was done. However, the incident did result in the death of an audience member, a tragic outcome that highlights the severe consequences of such violent acts. Butler County District Attorney Richard Goldinger confirmed this fatality, adding another layer of tragedy to the already tense situation. Trump's own statement on Truth Social provided a personal account of the incident. Describing the sensation of the bullet piercing his ear and the subsequent bleeding, Trump painted a vivid picture of the ordeal. He extended his gratitude to the Secret Service and law enforcement for their rapid response and expressed condolences to the families affected by the violence. His statement, while personal, also served to reinforce his stance against such acts and his continued resilience. Critically, this incident raises important questions about the state of political discourse and safety in the United States. The increasing polarization and hostility in political rallies and events necessitate a re-evaluation of security measures and the rhetoric used by political figures. The endorsements and reactions from high-profile individuals like Elon Musk also highlight the role of influential figures in shaping public perception and political landscapes. Moreover, the event underscores the need for a unified stance against political violence. The bipartisan condemnation from figures like Governor Shapiro and President Biden is a step in the right direction, but it must be matched with concrete actions to ensure the safety and security of political events. This includes better coordination between federal and local law enforcement agencies, enhanced security protocols, and a commitment to reducing inflammatory rhetoric that can incite violence. In conclusion, the shooting of Donald Trump at the Pennsylvania rally is a stark reminder of the volatile and dangerous nature of contemporary political environments. The swift response from the Secret Service, the endorsements from influential figures, and the bipartisan condemnation of the violence all point to the need for a more secure and respectful political discourse. As the nation grapples with this incident, it is crucial to address the underlying issues of political violence 
and work towards a safer and more inclusive political climate.